but I got things in common. He speaks Spanish, and I speak Spanish too. Hmm? He is from uh, Central America, and I am from Central America too. We are really? King, kindred spirits. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's an example. <laughs> it's a different example. Uh -huh. the, teacher, the teacher is in America, and yeah. American people. Okay. Uh, he likes soccer, and I like soccer too. Thank you. Okay, now listen. What is the most important thing in here when you see and two? That the two sentences are affirmative. Okay? Because in here, by the way, like copycats is similar like kindred spirits. It's people that got things in common. For example, I'm writing a paragraph and Lenore, Lenore is writing a paragraph too. Oh, she's my copycat. She's copying me. Okay, we got things in common. Children at school, when they take an exam and the other child is copying, teacher, teacher, copycat, he's copying me. Is it? A copycat. But in this case, it's not about cheating on the exam. In this case, it's things in common. But little by little, guys. First, we're going to start with this one. And and two. Look at this. I am happy. I am happy. And he is happy too. Then, what is the most important thing in here that you're going to use? And and two when the two sentences are affirmative. You see? Affirmative, affirmative. Now, there is another problem in here. I am happy and he's happy too. This is the long way, but you also have a short way when you use the verb or the auxiliary. And I am happy and he is too. You see? use the verb. You're not necessary to use happy again. This is with the verb to be. It's very easy, but you can do it with a simple present, with a simple past. Simple present. He dances salsa. And I, tell me guys. And I, tell me. And I dance salsa too. Two. Two. Now, he dances salsa and I dance salsa too. It's affirmative, simple present. Now, can anybody tell me the short way? He dances salsa and I? I dance too. No, auxiliary. What is the auxiliary for the simple present? I do. And I do. I do. I do. Yeah. That's yeah. the only problem that you have. You have to be careful. When you're gonna use the auxiliary, you have to check if it's present, past, future, and you're gonna use the auxiliary. Now, what is what is the past of dance? He danced salsa and I danced salsa too. He danced salsa and I did too. Okay? And important, super, super important. When you use two, both sentences are affirmative. Why teacher telling you this? Because when you use either, both sentences are negative. Because sometimes people say, I don't like pizza. Me too. No, I don't like pizza either. Because two is for the affirmative. Gary says, I like pizza. And Dinora says, me too. Gary says, I don't like pizza. Oh, and the teacher says, I don't like pizza me either. No, me neither is a short way, okay? We're gonna practice either. Now, what is the negative of the verb to be is? Is. The negative? He isn't. He isn't. He isn't happy. He isn't happy. And. No. I am, I, I am not, because remember, negative, negative, the two sentences. And I am not happy, tell me, either. And that's the point. Guys, negative, negative, you're going to use either. Affirmative, affirmative, you're going to use two. And then the short, the short answer is very easy. 
He's unhappy and and I'm not and I'm not either. either. No two. Either. Because two is not affirmative. Okay. Negative. 